Hello everyone and welcome to the Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sikris and let's see what happened in the world of tech in Korea for the first week of September. For the first story, Neo Wiz's The Lies of P wins three crowns at GamesCon Awards 2022 for the first time in Korea. NeoWiz announced that The Lies of P, the company's own work currently under development, became the first in the Korean game industry to win three crowns at the Gamescom Awards 2022. The game won the most trophies at Gamescom Awards 2022, and the win is more meaningful in that it is the first achievement for a Korean game. The winner, The Lies of P, is a Souls-like single-player action RPG with realistic graphics set depicting the Belle Epoch era at the end of the 19th century. Its unique universe inspired by the classic Pinocchio and adopted into a dark fairy tale and stunning action sequences brought a lot of expectations for a global hit in the market. It is currently under development for console and PC platforms and it is planned to be released in 2023. Next up, Hike Vision unveils AIoT remote monitoring solution for flood prevention. Hike Vision, an IoT solution provider, announced an AIoT-based remote monitoring solution for the management of water resources such as dams and flood prevention. Hike Vision applies hologram technology for comprehensive analysis, enabling real-time visualization and monitoring of data such as soil moisture, evaporation, and equipment condition in rainfall. When the water level rises above the set threshold, the smart notification gets activated. Tai, the CEO of Hike Vision Korea, said hydrology, the field that studies the generation, distribution, and chemical properties of water on Earth, is like measuring the pulse of a river through changes in indicators such as water level, flow rate, and velocity. Hike Vision's AIoT based remote monitoring solution, which applies to technology developed through hydrological research, is expected to help accumulate data for local water resource management and protection by identifying and managing the latest water resource management status in real time. For our next big story, Smilegate Investment establishes FinTech Fund No. 1, worth 30 billion Korean won. Smilegate Investment announced that it will organize the Smilegate Fintech Investment Association No. 1, or Fintech Fund No. 1, worth 30 billion Korean won, and begin to discover and invest in companies that will lead the future financial sector. Smilegate Investment expects the fund to contribute to the development and fostering of new financial technologies to further improve the financial service environment. Consequently, Smilegate Holdings invested 29 billion Korean won in the first fintech fund and participated as the sole investor. The number of companies in the portfolio is expected to be around 20, and it plans to invest between 500 million to 2 billion Korean won each for fintech companies in the pre-A to Series B phase. And for our final big story of the week, Rising Wings to conduct global pretest for Defense Derby. Crafton subsidiary Rising Wings has announced the global pretest schedule for real time strategy defense game Defense Derby. Defense Derby is a strategic defense game with a real time auction system added, a new feature in the tower defense genre. The pre release test is designed to present a fully developed game that incorporates players' opinions prior to the game's official launch. It will be held this coming September 15th to September 30th, and the game will be available on Google Play for users interested in participating to download and experience it. And that's gonna be it for our big news stories of the week, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of our news briefs. Mr. Mind signs MOU with battery manufacturer Power Bank Systems. Mr. Mind announced that it signed a business agreement with the battery manufacturer Power Bank Systems for the cooperation of building a successful artificial intelligence industry. This agreement was signed to develop artificial intelligence businesses such as AI care robots and to provide the production of drone batteries. Through this MOU with Power Bank Systems, Mr. Mind is planning to upgrade the performance 
the charging time, lifespan, and stability of the batteries used in AI care robots in the future. For our second news brief of the week, OnLab TIP, or Threat Intelligence Platform, introduces Deep Web Dark Web, or DDW, monitoring function. OnLab introduced a DDW, Deep Dark Web, monitoring function that provides advanced threat intelligence by collecting and processing various cybersecurity threats from Deep Web, Dark Web, and underground forums on its next generation threat intelligence platform, OnLab TIP. OnLab TIP's newly added DDW monitoring function includes keyword search for numerous cyber threat information distributed in anonymous networks such as Tor network I2P, IOC, indicator of compromise, and attacker information from the deep dark web, checking exposed organization and service account data in the deep dark web, and various threat trend data such as DDW trend reports. And for our final story of the week, Tunib launches open beta service for AI-based English chatbot, Bluni. The artificial intelligence startup Tunib, based on natural language processing, announced that it will start the open beta service for Bluni, an AI-based English chatbot. Bluni, introduced by Tunib, is a character with the concept of a friend that likes to travel and depicts a cloud that can travel anywhere around the world. Kyu Byung Park, CEO of Tunib said, we have put in a lot of effort to create the floating cloud character, Bluni, that can naturally gain the ability to speak to users. And he added, we plan to focus on upgrading Bluni's conversation skills in the future and introduce more character chat box. And that's going to be it for your news this week. I'm Alex Sigrist from the Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News, and I'll see you next week.